Hey everyone, welcome back. Bronze Dragon here, bringing you some Immortal Creed news. Thanks for dropping by. I always appreciate your time. If you like this kind of content, uh, please consider liking uh, the video and subscribing. I do appreciate it. Also, if you are interested in playing this game at the end, after you see all the news, um, then please use my referral code in the uh, show uh, notes and it will help me out. Appreciate it. Okay, so Immortal Creed is a game that we talked about last year. Um, I was in on the beta testing and also when it went live later in the year. Beta testing was like mid-year last year, June, July, August type uh, time frame, and then it went live in December. Well, uh, guess what? It's a game that I haven't played a whole lot this last year. I did have played it on and off. As I've always said, it's a game on the high blockchain, uh, but don't let that scare you off. Um, it doesn't cost a whole lot to get in this game. It's a card uh, auto battler. Um, so if you like uh, collectible card games, you may be interested in this. It's a, it's a little bit different take on the auto battler uh, type card collection system than say Splinterlands. Um, but with that said, uh, I just have hit like a, uh, um, there's only so many games I can play on a weekly basis. So uh, I did a lot of coverage of this. Uh, so uh, when the uh, R&D team of the game reached out to me recently, uh, said, hey, would you be interested in some information on what's happening in Immortal Creed? Because we are getting ready to celebrate our first anniversary. I said, sure, why not? I didn't see any reason why not. And I always like to cover these games that are made by very small development teams and as far as I know there's only two guys working on this game so uh, and right up front I know everybody's gonna ask oh, can you make money off of it yes you could but uh, I like to approach these games off of the whole gameplay aspect because I like card games basically um, and with that said, I, I did look up the token, and I don't know really how well it's been faring. It, it, uh, the main token in this game, let's go over, uh, let's change. The main token in this game is called Valor, uh, and that's what you earn off of playing the card games, and that's what you can use to buy packs and cards and stuff. Um, it seems to be worth about one-tenth of a cent, uh, so you need uh, 10 Valor per cent. Uh, so, like I said, I, I'm not approaching this from how much can I make off of it. It's relatively cheap to get into and play, and I'm just enjoying it as a card game. So, uh, with that said, we will go ahead and get in and play a little bit of this um, to let you know what we're getting into. But, first of all, I want to show you what the news is. Okay, so this is the announcement. Okay, so they're going to have an anniversary event. It's going to be in December, um, and that will coincide. We'll just roll through this event announcement, and I blew it up so you could read it if you want to. Um, it's season 27, which will occur in December, which celebrates their first anniversary. Uh, it will be between December 8th and December 22nd. So that will be season 22 or 27, rather. Um, and any player with a creed mark, which uh, it, if you haven't played the game before, uh, there's usually a little bit of a fee to get in and start playing uh, the game. Uh, if you spend some money on the store, and we'll, we'll cover that here in a few minutes, uh, a little bit of money, it's only a few bucks, you can get in and get what's called a creed mark, which means you've paid a few bucks into the game, and you can, which you use to buy packs, and then uh, you can, um, that's the only real requirement here. Uh, you can earn, in this event, up to seven extra packs on top of the existing rewards that you get paid out for each. Like I told you, you get paid out Valor, which you save up and generally I've used because you can use 200 Valor to buy a pack and that, you know, increases the level of your card. So, so there's that. So on top of your regular rewards, you can earn up to seven extra packs during the event. Now, how does this work? For every 10 daily battles you win, you'll receive a bonus Origins card pack, okay? Up to 70 battles qualify for this bonus for an extra, uh, for a total of seven bonus packs. So you can win during the event, if you win 70 battles, then you'll get your maximum seven free card packs on top of the regular normal, uh, you know, uh, what you're getting paid. Okay, so, and they go on to say that you don't have to win all 10 battles in one day. You can win a few one day, and then it, it adds up. So you don't have to, you're not pressured to have to sit there and try to grind through 10, pack, 10 wins in a day. Okay, so they do carry over. Now, as an added bonus, any new player it earns a, who earns a Creed Mark. So if you start playing the game, 
Uh, I would say that if you're new right now, it would behoove you to wait until the event starts to start playing the game because then you can take advantage of this little bonus. Uh, so any new player who earns a Creed Mark by making their first Creed at purchase in the shop during Season 27 will receive an extra two packs in addition to being eligible for the seven bonus packs during the event. That's a total of nine extra packs for new players. So, uh, you know, it's, is it a whole lot? No, but it is something extra. So if you're thinking about playing it, you may want to uh, wait until December 8th to start playing, and then you can take advantage of those two extra packs. Plus, uh, you know, if you get your wins in, then you earn these other bonus packs. And they go on to say, and as if this wasn't enough, we're adding prize payouts for the top 10 leaderboard positions of the event. So on top of the regular uh, payout for uh, the event, uh, they'll, they'll have prizes for those uh, people as well, uh, top 10 leaderboard positions. So that's nice. Now, uh, here they go on and, and show you. I'm just making sure my head's not blocking this, these numbers. Uh, so uh, the number one leaderboard position gets 25 extra packs, and all the way down to the 10th leaderboard position gets four extra packs. So it's nice. I mean, if you're going to make leaderboard, it's an extra little. It's just an, uh, it's a celebration. It's an anniversary event, right? So um, and then they go on to say, this is a perfect time to use referral links to share the event on social media and take advantage of referral rewards. Like I said, uh, you can share pack openings, news about one year event, uh, basically what I'm doing here. Um, and they go on to say all bonus packs will be airdrop airdropped into eligible players accounts for the season. end. And if you're not used to web three games, that just means after the season ends, then the packs will automatically show up in your account. Now, the next thing I want to mention is uh, coinciding with this is their 1 million battles incoming. So they're keeping track of how many battles have actually been played in the game over the last year, and they're approaching the 1 million mark. Now, to celebrate that even more, if they make, if, if we make a million battles played within that time frame during that event, then they're going to up the ante, okay? So not only all the other stuff uh, I just went over, they're going to double it, okay? So if we hit the 1 million battles played in bet between uh, December 8th and 22nd, then they're going to double it from 7 to 14 free packs, and they're going to add an extra 30,000 Valor to the season reward pool. So a lot of bonuses going on here. Um, and uh, I will mention uh, on top of that, they're making one change to the play. Uh, they're going to reduce, the, they're used to, uh, up to now, um, it takes two minutes between a match. So you can play a match, then you got to wait a little bit uh, before your next match. Uh, I think they put that in place to prevent spamming or whatever. Um, but with that said, they're reducing it. Uh, I guess they've, they've taken everything into consideration over the last year. They've probably done a lot of improvements to improve it on the backside as far as uh, blockchain actions and stuff like that. So um, they're reducing it to 30 seconds. So now with that said, I jumped back over here to my account. And um, within the last year, I have I basically would play until I amounted to 200 Valor. Then I would buy a pack. That was just kind of uh, what I did. It was pretty easy, a few wins. And uh, I think uh, where I'm playing, I'm like 16, 17, 18 Valor per win. I don't win every time. I probably have a 30% a win rate. I'm not too great. Um, but with that said, uh, I logged back in and there was an event uh, several months ago where I had bought 25 packs and I do have 27 packs to open at this point. So I figured, hey, why not open them on video? So let's go ahead and open the card packs. Let's just open all 20. Uh, let's let's open five at a time. Let's see what I get. So these card packs can uh, be immortals uh, or they can be equipment like weapons, uh, shields, books or something like that. So let's. Uh, OK, so they're sorted. Uh, so I, I got one legendary a runic axe. Um, I got uh, two epics, uh, an infused rod and a uh, neonite crossbow and then the rest are rare and commons okay so let's go back to card packs let's just open the rest of them um, i guess you can only open 20 at a time i tried to open the 22 and it wouldn't let me Okay, so out of 20 packs, I got, oh, I got a gold foil. Nice. I got a gold foil legendary. That is sweet. How rare is that? 
Um, so I got a Knight's Guard gold foil. I think that's the first gold foil. No, it's the first legendary gold foil, definitely. Uh, I think I've got a common gold foil before. Uh, so we got that. We got another Runic War Axe. We got another Serenity. I needed this. Um, Serpent's Gaze. Uh, and a Verdict Star. Okay. So, and as far as the epics go, we got a Tune Blessing. I like this shield. I've got mine at, I forget what level, but I use it quite often. Uh, Cataclysm. Uh, this is like uh, when the game first started out, this was like, I considered this like overpowered. Like everybody was just max level Cataclysm all over the place. Couldn't win against it. Golden Vigor. Uh, ring gives extra health if you use that. Uh, infused Rod again. And. Uh, Neonite crossbow again. Okay, so let's go back to... Okay, so I'm over on the forge, and this is where you level up your cards, and I can see that the ca the cards that I could possibly level up. In other words, I have enough copies of. Um, but in this game, you also need some other tokens uh, to be able to level those cards, and those are called either creed or craft, depending upon um, what you're doing. So if you are uh, leveling immortals, it's creed. And if you're more um, leveling equipment, then it's craft. And to get those, you have to actually burn the cards, uh, burn extra cards to get it. So this is a burn mechanism to take out a lot of excess cards uh, off the blockchain, which uh, in essence also helps keep the price of the cards up as well. So let's see here. Um, I have, I think I have two creed. I can level up the Silas to level four, it looks like. So let's go ahead and uh, level my Silas up to level four. Okay, that's good. That will help. Now, I am out of Creed. So let's look at equipment. And I'm looking through here. I use Serenity quite a lot. So let's take a look at this. I can level up Serenity to level four. Let's go ahead and level that up. That didn't hit level four. That, that stayed at level three. Um, let's go ahead and level these up. Let's see what this does. This is at level two. Let's go back. Okay, let's look at the rest of these. I'm focusing on the higher rarity cards. I do know that they have like um, over here in the library. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell though. Okay, like on this Vena Knight, crossbow to go from level three to level four. So it needs five copies to make level three or eight copies to make level four. So let's go back to the forge. So I have enough to make a level three. So let's go ahead and create that. So that will help out. Okay, so I've used up, I could actually burn some of these and then make uh, some more craft. Let's do that. Let's go to my inventory and sort by equipment. And let's burn some extra cards that I don't need. Looks like I have some extra this one. Let's burn five of those. Okay, now that gave me five craft. Now let's go back to the forge, see if there's anything else I wanna combine here. Um, now in this case, the green are rarer than the blue. And you can see that I have some gold foils here. Um, I'll be able to get a level four infused hammer. I use this once in a while. I like the bows because the bows are quick. Um, 
Let's level up my Iron Striker. I like that. Okay, so with that said, let's play a quick match just so you can see what I'm talking about. So um, in this game, what you're trying to do is progress uh, through the various levels of bronze, silver, gold, and so forth and go up. And then there's 10 wins that you have to do to progress through each um, level, like silver, okay? So like in silver, I'm on level seven. I have two wins today and one win streak. And you can only win so many times per day. I believe it's 10 wins. Uh, if, you, if I'm wrong, uh, let me know in the comments. But after that, you could still play to up your level in the... Um, let's look at what's going on in the season. So this is a season over here, and we can see that uh, Ragnar LB has 200 wins and is at the top of the leaderboard. Uh, you can win, and you can see over here to the right that the reward pool is... 7,770. Uh, 7, uh, so, um, so basically, you can only win so many times per day. You can play as much as you want uh, to rise up to the leaderboard if you want to possibly take that reward pool. But after 10 wins, you're not going to get any extra um, payouts per day. This is obviously to uh, prevent um, you know, abuse of the system. So let's go ahead and play a ranked match, and you can see kind of what's going on. Um, they'll present uh, what your options are for that match as far as, uh, or I, would, I should say limitations. Uh, they'll present the situation that you have to abide by. Uh, and nice enough, they'll, they'll give some little pointers on the cards themselves and say, eh, this is advised, this is not. Um, so if there are certain cards, uh, let's go ahead that aren't advised. Okay, so we're playing in the back alley and only one turn cards are allowed. So the cards that take longer than one turn, uh, two turn cards are not allowed. Uh, so let's go ahead and go with, uh, let's go with War Caller. It gives an extra 13% to melee. And let's go in with, uh, let's see here, what do we got? I want to start off strong. Oh, I can't. I can't use the longer. Um, hmm. He's plus melee, so let's just start with this. And actually, let's take this off. Let's go in with the bows. They're stronger and fast. Yeah. It's two bows. Let's use one of those and then use this. Okay. So you choose, you have a certain amount of slots. And as you progress up the levels from bronze, silver, gold, and et cetera, you get more slots to put in your cards. And if it's a one turn card, it only takes up one slot. If it's a two turn card, it takes up two slots. Uh, you, just like in other battles, if it's like a two handed weapon, it's slower. It does more damage though. So uh, very similar. So let's see here. We can see as it progresses through the damage I'm doing, uh, I'm not, uh, looks like I might be going ahead a little bit. Let's see how this goes. Uh, we can speed this up a little bit. This is pretty close. This is going to be pretty close. Oh, he pulled out ahead. He pulled out ahead. Um, yeah. He's using a card that gives plus life each round, and that's where he got me. So he won this match. Okay, I have been defeated, so let's try another match. It's not an easy game. It's definitely not an easy game. And I think this might have been one of the things that kind of um, made it so I didn't play it as much because I just kept getting beat a lot. Uh, it's not that I want a pushover game, but it's, it's, it's not an easy game. So... Let's go ahead and enter match. Oh, once again, same thing. So let's look at what he, uh, our play, uh, our our opponent up in the right corner, uh, most recently played. Uh, let's go in with some magic. Uh, let's try magic. Let's use Asazi, which gives plus thirteen to, uh, percent to magic. And let's try our hand that way. So Once again, I can only use one turn cards. So let's go in with the infused rod. Uh, doo -doo -doo. 
This one is slower, but it does 18 damage. Quick. You have to look at the damage versus time because I've found that usually the quicker cards are better to pick even if they do a little bit less damage than the cards that uh, are um, take longer to go off because there's a lot of times I just get beat by a second and it's just like it's just the timing on the cards. If you look at the time, if you look at the cards in the lower left, it tells you how fast they are. The lower number, the faster they are. Um, and if you're presented with a match, um, one card versus the other one, the, the one with the faster time is going to go off faster. And sometimes that's all the difference there is. Let's take a look at, looks like I'm uh, ahead at the beginning. Still looking pretty good. Oh, that hurt. Still ahead. He's got a bonus ring, bonus to range, which will help him out, but I'm still doing pretty good. Still ahead by 30 points. Got that shield. The shield cuts down on the damage he's going to take. Ooh, that hurt. That's going to help him a lot. That brought his, uh, brought his lead or my lead down to 20 points. Uh, still looking pretty good. Looks like I have this in the bag. But a lot of these battles come right down to the last, uh, come down quickly. It's not a lot, not a lot of these battles are, are blow away battles. Either way, uh, so you can see I'm victorious. And in this particular match, I won 17 Valor. So we'll return home. We'll go over to my wallet. And you can see I have 204 Valor saved up now. So I can go over to the shop and I can actually buy myself a pack, buy one pack with 200 Valor. Confirm the purchase. Okay. And you can see in my email uh, or my mail here that I uh, bought one Origins card pack. And we could go over to uh, and just open up those last three packs because I had two left over from the other opening. See what I get. Uh, no legendaries. Uh, I got an epic cataclysm. Nice. Uh, and uh, two rares and the rest were commons. Anyway, uh, I just thought I'd give you a taste of this game. If you're interested in this game, please use my referral code in the show comments. Um, but like I said, if you're going to start playing this, I would probably wait until December 8th uh, to take advantage of that extra bonus. Uh, but if you have any questions about it, uh, I might be able to help. Otherwise, I might be able to point you in the right direction. They do have a Discord channel. Um, and it's a it's an interesting game that is not entirely too expensive to jump into. And uh, you can jump into it and you can buy your credits. You don't have to uh, buy block, be on blockchain or, or buy cryptocurrency if you don't want to. You can just go into the shop and you can buy credits with um, uh, PayPal, um, uh, Venmo, uh, so debit and credit card. So it is an easy game to get into if you like uh, if you like uh, card auto battlers. So either way, this has been Bronze Dragon bringing you a little bit of Immortal Creed information update and happy anniversary goes out to the team. So I'll see you on the flip side. Uh, I hope everyone on your side is happy and healthy. And hey, I might see you in Immortal Creed.